I think the main purpose of the uh, 17 Sustainable Development Goals is to stimulate action, not only by countries, but also by private companies, civil society, the scientific community. So I see the real test case of the technology facilitation mechanism. As they adopted the Sustainable Development Goals, the member states of the United Nations created the Technology Facilitation Mechanism. Its purpose, to promote technology development, cooperation and transfer, which is crucial to addressing global sustainable development challenges. The success of the Technology Facilitation Mechanism will depend on how it could respond to the needs of communities and peoples on the ground in terms of using science, technology and innovations in addressing development problems. One element of this mechanism is the 10-member multi-stakeholder advisory group. The group had its first meeting with the interagency task team in New York. When people think about looking for uh, appropriate technologies for their country, they think about the technology platform that of this uh, TFM. So people use it. Second is it influences. It influences the policymakers and it influences people's thinking. So it changes people's perception about the role of STI, science, technology and innovation for development. So STI is no longer just an outcome of development, but a tool for development. Science, technology, innovation is very important, not only for economic growth, for long-term economic growth, but it was very important uh, for reducing poverty. But what we really need to now see is an increased, and, and I mean in measurable terms, an increased commitment um, to supporting the development of STI systems that can effectively mobilize the community of practitioners to help achieve sustainable development goals. Um, look at us, the, the 10 member groups, uh, where we come from and our uh, different discipline, uh, civil society, uh, from academia, from NGOs, from uh, indigenous community. Amazing. If we that, if that start, that means the end result going to be great because we're getting everybody involved. Nobody living going to be left behind, and that should be the way. It should recognize the different knowledge systems for indigenous peoples. It is very important that for the whole community to understand that. We have traditional knowledge. We have practiced technology that have worked forever in our communities. And if we can share this and we can improve that, then I think we would be succeeding. The plan for the technology facilitation mechanism also calls for an online platform to facilitate the matching of technology supply and demand. There will also be an annual multi-stakeholder forum on science, technology and innovation for the Sustainable Development Goals. The new mechanism foresees a forum that will be a regular event. The first one will be this coming June. I think the innovative part of that is that it's going to involve the very wide participation of stakeholders. And I think that is really, really critical because technology concerns all of us. We are, at the end of the day, adopters of technologies. This is why we need a private sector, public sector, partnerships, and in particular, the science and technology community. I think the uh, private sector is key to develop uh, innovative solutions that will contribute to the, uh, the broad SDG agenda. We need to find ways to break them down in chunks that people can concretely relate to. The technologies can actually be uh, reviewed against and then we can bring the private sector to the table saying, okay, if, if this is the technology we need, this is how we think about implementation of that technology. The end result will be uh, whether we will achieve the SDGs and uh, what's the role that uh, science, technology, innovation uh, will play.